by the mock part. The mock part is actually what we like to call in Ukrainian the open class, right? Or the open lesson, uh, during which, yeah, we will have a fruitful and meaningful discussion. And we'll also do that by adding a layer of key central vocabulary points on the topic and also by watching engaging content at the same time. So as always, stay tuned because I know that usually while watching webinars, people tend to mute themselves, turn up their cameras, uh, multitask, watch Netflix or drink coffee while listening to the speaker, but not today, guys, not today. So uh, yes, yeah, stay glued to your screens. Uh, look at this slide, please. Um, I believe that major the majority of you, or maybe even all of you, are absolutely fascinated by the world of IT. Yes, the technological advancements in the field and the leap that we have made in the past 20 or 30 years or so, right? So, who would like to answer this existential question? Do you believe that you're smarter than artificial intelligence and why? Any volunteers? It's Would a you? difficult question. <laughs> That's okay. I encourage you to make as many mistakes in English as possible. Because this uh, is possible. Yes, I hope yes, but <laughs> real life is different. And yes, that's true. That's true. So why do you think that people are smarter? Yeah, Mikhailo, what is your opinion? Why are we smarter than robots, than artificial intelligence? It's question difficult for me. Maybe Natalia help us. Natalia, can you? Because you muted yourself as well. Uh -huh. um, thank you. Uh, can you repeat the question, please? I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll repeat the question. Do you think that people are smarter than artificial intelligence? Uh, from the background of feeling, uh, of course, we are smarter than artificial intelligence. Uh, you gave us a tip uh, because uh, artificial intelligence, uh, it, uh, it's not about feeling at all. Uh, <laughs> at all. It's about brain. Um, um, calculation, maybe decision, uh, but not uh, um, soft skills and other interesting things. <laughs> yes, and I absolutely agree with you. Yes, you raised a great point. Um, so do you believe, Natalia, that we can teach AI to feel some emotions like sympathy, compassion, crying with us when we are sad? Do we really need it? <laughs> what for? <laughs> what, first question. Uh, if we really decided to artificial intelli intelligence uh, mm, mm, uh, change us in some questions, uh, in our um, two, yes, maybe. Uh, but um, uh, I don't know, really. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. According to the uh, film, film terminal, something like that, uh, I don't <laughs> want artificial intelligence um, um, be smarter than we, mm -hmm. than human being. Uh, yes, because a lot of people are afraid of it, right? They are afraid of some consequences that might be in the future. Right? And for that reason, some people say that we need to teach AI to feel some kind of emotions, yeah, to, for example, help people in need or, or help some stray dogs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is right. Okay, thank you for your great answers. Mikhailo, <laughs> anything? No, no, it's great. Absolutely amazing. We don't know how to teach it to feel any kind of emotions because these are the neural connections in our brain, yeah, where some of the feelings are still, you know, quite confusing for us as well. <clears throat> 
but so thank you both for your answers but we can see that ai is ever present now right and it has infiltrated almost every aspect of our lives you know from siri that is helping us turn on our tvs or choose the best restaurant to go to netflix um catering to our needs and uh showing us the tv series based on our preferences to more humanoid robots which uh were mentioned today by natalia right like sophia robots that can chat maybe cook or even joke around with people so now we are going to watch a short video about uh, some outcomes of developing more intelligent and self-aware AI. So please watch it carefully to be able to answer the questions about some theories about AI. So what may happen in the future to humankind and also to talk about the types of AI that are already in existence, all right? Let's get one fact straight. It's only a matter of time before we successfully create an AI that surpasses the intelligence of a human being. Estimates for this event, known as the singularity, range from anywhere between 10 and 50 years from now. What happens next is anyone's guess, but there are two prevailing theories. One, humanity is fast-tracked for more amazing technological innovation than we've experienced in our entire history. Or two, extinction at the hands of a sentient super AI who is indifferent to our survival. Let's back up a little bit. There are a few distinctions to make when talking about advanced AI. On the low end of the intelligence spectrum, there is weak or narrow AI, software that is useful within a fairly limited range of tasks. Alexa, Siri, and all the other personal assistants are the most obvious examples, but we're actually surrounded by narrow AI. Your Netflix caters to your taste in movies and TV. Amazon predicts the kind of products you like based on your browsing habits and your purchase history. Machine learning algorithms represent another form of narrow AI. Any program that can adapt based upon user interaction can be lumped into this category. This type of artificial intelligence is rarely considered a threat. Take Siri, for example. There's no real intelligence there, no mind, no self-awareness. She'll answer some questions for you, but she's completely useless outside the scope of even fairly simple ones. Moving up one level, we have artificial general intelligence, or AGI type of AI is able to apply its intelligence to a much wider range of applications and can successfully perform any intellectual action a human can. This level of AI is generally the goal for projects aiming to develop an advanced artificial intelligence. Academics often refer to AGI with the ability to experience consciousness as strong AI. Think HAL from 2001 A Space Odyssey or the T-800 from Terminator or Ava from Ex Machina. These are machines or software that are just as intelligent or more intelligent than humans, but have not entered a state of runaway self-improvement that would lead to the next stage of AI. As of 2017, there were at least 40 organizations around the world actively researching AGI. Now for the big one, artificial superintelligence. This is the level of AI that some of the world's leading experts believe could spell the end of mankind. A superintelligence would be smarter and more capable than all of humanity's greatest minds put together, and getting more intelligent every second. These AI would seem like gods to us mere mortals. Infinite knowledge, the ability to perform countless tasks at once, instant answers to questions we haven't even thought of yet. The biggest question we have thought of regarding a super AI is whether or not it'll be friendly. When we think of modern AI, we think of giving it a task and it performing that task, then waiting for the next command. It's not friendly or unfriendly, it just performs its task. What happens when we have a vastly more capable AI and we task it with ending world hunger? The easiest solution for the AI would be to eliminate humans and thus end world hunger for good. That may sound like a far-fetched example, but consider how the AI would see humans. We look at insects and have little regard for their lives because they're insignificant and, more importantly, far less intelligent than we are. We step on ants without a moment's hesitation. How would an entity millions of times more intelligent than humans be likely to treat us? We tend to disregard the danger because we assume AI will be human-like. After all, we're making it in our own image. This arrogance could lead us to develop a sentient machine that would see our existence as nothing more than a nuisance, a parasite that causes more damage than anything else on the planet. In that regard, the machine would be right. And if it considered us a threat to its own existence, it's unlikely that we could do anything to stop our ultimate destruction. How can we stop a being that has access to all of our knowledge and more, can control our computer systems, can create and destroy at will by using our already existing infrastructure, or worse, by building its own that is far beyond human understanding? 
If this super AI is truly sentient, it would be able to communicate with us, but whether we would even merit that communication is up in the air. This is why some of the leading experts expect true artificial intelligence to be our final invention, the greatest achievement in history that leads to our own destruction. What do you guys think? Was the speaker talking about some far-fetched future or a scary reality that we will be facing in a couple of years? Natalia, can I ask you, please? Uh, there are uh, there were, uh, several points. Artificial inter uh, AI, uh, it's uh, everything we have nowadays. Yeah, we see a lot of... Um, robots uh, machines that help us in our um, daily routine maybe true yeah uh, next general uh, um, intelligence uh, it's maybe future um, but um, it depends on the progress of uh, uh, something like quantum computer and uh, uh, and also um, maybe nearest future not so um rapid uh and quick uh development of this uh, sphere um maybe nearby yes who knows who knows so there is a possibility that that might happen in the future thank you so much for being so active so before we engage in our further discussion could anyone please help me figure out what these red expressions mean. So these are the vocabulary points used by the speaker, but all the definitions are mixed. So who is willing to do that? So, right, so some people say that, let's say Siberian tigers may become extinct in the future. So that will mean that they will die out, yes? So the extinction is the dying out of some species. If people become extinct, yeah, there will be no human beings. All right, what about the second one? And it may be a little harder. Sentient AI. The speaker said, if AI becomes sentient, then it will develop by itself. Natalia, do you have any idea here? Uh, if speaker says so, uh, we can understand that, that uh, sentient, it developed by yourself. It's, uh, uh, they um, no more need a uh, human being. Yes, yes, absolutely. So they will be able to perceive or feel things. Yes, so being aware of who they are, so to say. So that means sentient. Okay, great, thank you. If AI surpasses, to surpass our intelligence, what does that mean? What is the definition? This and this has already been used. Look here, 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 or down below. To surpass something. Uh, maybe um, we understand that artificial in intelligence is uh, uh, more um, cle clever and that we are <laughs> in simple words, <laughs> maybe so. And that is it. That is the definition. So surpass goes here to exceed or be greater and better than, yes? So I hope that something will surpass your expectations. All right. All right, thank you so much, that was amazing. If we talk about the distinction, and usually it's the, I can't see the distinction between this and that. So what are we talking about? We're talking maybe about uh, if uh, somebody have um, uh, some features, um, Mm -hmm. developed more than you have yes to <laughs> some extent you are on on the right path here yes yeah? so basically some features that are different yeah, yeah. so yeah. distinction mm -hmm. is just a cooler word which means a difference okay perfect moving on what if we have a range of tasks at work what do we mean by that 
Mikhailo, maybe you can guess this one. I have a range of tasks to do at work. If not, somebody else can join. Natalia, do you have a range of tasks? As I understand, uh, it. Um, um, I did here. What we have left is having no limit, a number of, mm -hmm. and different, um, a range of tasks. Maybe in simple words, it's different. Uh, a different number of tasks you uh, from the similar to the complicated task you have at all. Yes. No, no, no. Yes, you are right. So it simply means a number of. Yes, you can mm -hmm. say I have many tasks. I have a number of tasks. Mm -hmm. Or to sound more advanced, you say I have a range of tasks at work. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, thank you for your participation. Alrighty, the speaker said that we can refer to, yes, refer to somebody. And I'll give you a hint. You can refer to Olha as Olha. So what do we mean by this? Mm. Here we have just uh, one and two. This or that. Do we lead to something when we refer or do we just mention or say something? For me, it's uh, mentioned uh, something sounds better for um, uh, related or referred to. And you are absolutely right. Thank you for that. Yes, when you refer to someone, you just mention or say somebody's name. So we can refer to artificial intelligence as AI. Perfect, perfect. We will uh, try to consolidate our knowledge as often as possible and right away after listening and comprehending the words, we'll try to put them into practice. So maybe if you're not willing to speak, you can do this in the comment section down below. Try and help me out with the words missing. And the words missing are of course taken from here. Okay, so I'll read the first sentence. He was determined to... <laughs> The achievements of his older brothers. What was he trying to do to something? It was the third uh, <laughs> surpass, maybe. Yes, yes, you are right. He was determined to surpass. He wanted to be better than his older brothers. Yay, we have one point. Okay, the second one. Animal, hmm is caused by many factors, including human pollution and the destruction of habitats. So the dying out of animals, how mm -hmm. do you say that? Just extinctions maybe. Ah, thank you, Mihailo, brilliant. And it is so, animal extinction. Yes, you are right, you're right. See how fast you can learn words. Okay, perfect, we are moving forward. I can't see any hmm between testers and QA engineers. And range, maybe range. Almost, almost. And that is a joke from me. So I can't see any difference between testers and QA engineers. So what's the word? Difference. Difference. Mm -hmm. Range. Almost. Remember the definitions are mixed here. I Me, mean, I, I have forgotten, sorry. No, it's, um, it's fine. The range is a number here. Uh -huh, number. And the difference, what is the word? Um, a distinct. A distinct. Yes, yes, read it here. <laughs> distinction. Distinction, oh. I can't see any distinction, right. Can you? No, I'm just joking. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Question number four, sentence number four is, the universe is without any limits. Mikhail. 
if Michaela wants to say this one, then sure. Mm. If not, Natalia? Uh, infinite. Yeah. Uh, yes. And maybe there is something like infinity, and I don't yes. remember it was a film or what. Having no limit. Yes, yes. So the universe is infinite. So we already have consolidated four advanced terms. Great, you guys. Pretty amazing. Okay, I'll move on. You can hmm to artificial intelligence as AI. So you can call artificial intelligence AI. Um, Only one expression there was- I'm sorry, as um, refer to. Yes, refer to. Refer to, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can refer to artificial intelligence. That is right. Okay. If robots become, hmm, they'll take control of the planet. So if they become self-aware and, you know, aware of who they are. Which was that? Any ideas? Sentient. Sentient, yes. Mm -hmm. so you can uh, kind of remember this word by remembering sense. If they will, you know, mm -hmm. uh, understand the sense of something. Okay, and the very, very last one. There is a mm -hmm, of options we can use to make AI more empathetic. So there are, you know, many options. There is a number of options. Mikhailo, do you know? How do we say a number of? That was your sentence. So maybe spelled as the end of uh, almost but what word meant a number of something like many many tasks i have many tasks. Many, many task uh, a range of tasks yes yes and that is the correct number answer. Mm -hmm. yes very good Mikhailo. very good so there is a range of options we can use to make ai more empathetic thank you so much yeah both of you are absolutely amazing Okay, 